Data security has never been more important. Digital intrusions by international cyber criminals have been widely reported. So how safe is our national data? It's an issue that is central to the design and operation of one of the world's highest security data centres, CDC. It's very important, obviously, with the, the types of data uh, and the volume of data that you know, we, um, we, we host here at CDC, uh, that only the right people at the right time can access any of that data for the right and correct purposes. And there's a lot of significant operational procedures that are in place to ensure that that's the case. Knowing where your data is stored and exactly who is managing and securing it is critical to its safe keeping. It's what's become known as data sovereignty. CDC data partner SliceTech says they need secure and stable access for their clients' data 24-7 and say data sovereignty has become a major concern for all of their clients. Australian data is exactly that. It's Australian data. It's collected for utilisation on our behalf to our benefit and it's really important that we maintain that sovereignty. It's incredibly difficult to ensure that that sovereignty is understood and maintained when it's offshore. And keeping it within Australia, within an Australian data centre, is key for the basis of that sovereignty to be established and maintained. I think the world's changed, particularly since the pandemic, but even before the pandemic, there was kind of increasing concerns around having sovereign capability and the hosting of important data within Australia. The CDC data centres were originally established for government to replace ageing servers housed in office basements. But CDC now serve many customers, including national critical infrastructure, such as public transport, defence and financial institutions. The data centres are designed to ensure their clients can be hosted in their growth phase and not forced into an expensive migration to another facility. The assurance, a number of level layers of assurance, the, the physical security, the resilience, the performance, but then also the protections around change. We protect them from having to evolve their data centre to suit the changing IT. The world's leading data centres aim for fully sustainable operations. CDC data centres, like the ones we visited in Canberra, are using 100% renewable energy. Importantly, CDC has made a conscious decision to invest significant capital to ensure that all their data centres are able to cool their service without wasting any precious water. I really enjoy telling our customers about the sustainability characteristics of our facilities. Uh, I'm a bit of a water nerd myself, so being able to tell them where they probably used hundreds of thousands of litres of water every day or every week in a year, they actually don't consume any in our facility. The Australian Government has developed a range of data centre accreditation levels, the highest being Certified Strategic. It's a ranking CDC now has for all of its nine data centres. Key to this level of security and guaranteed 24-7 remote access is the architecture offered with four independent backup power systems, full data backup and high level physical security. Critical infrastructure is all tier four, um, so completely fault tolerant. Um, if one entire feed fails, there's a complete another backup to, to support that. So it helps us all sleep at night. Um, we know that the system will always be on because that's what we need to deliver to, custom, to our customers.